On the fourth day of Ramadan 2016, thousands and thousands of people thronged and descended on Louisville, Kentucky. All of them, they descended for one sole purpose, and that was to attend the funeral of the champion boxer, Muhammad Ali. There were even those who flew for more than 8,000 miles from far away places, far away countries like Bangladesh to attend this particular funeral. He was the champ, he was their champ, the people's champ, he was our champ. This is when Ali is around and a typical championship performance from the 33. Muhammad Ali was not just any ordinary individual, he was a towering social and political figure. He stood as a beacon of hope for oppressed people around the world and an embodiment of the principle that unless you have a very good reason for killing people, war is completely wrong. My conscience won't let me go shoot my brother. Uh, some darker people, uh, some poor hungry people in the mud for big powerful America. In some ways, this man was very, very simple. In other ways, he was quite complex as well. But we can all attest to the fact that there are a number of lessons that can be deduced from the life of this great champion, from the life of this great icon. And I thought of dedicating this particular video, the few minutes that I have with you all, to touch on a few lessons from this great individual's life. Lesson number one, strive to be the greatest, the greatest at whatever you do. You see, boxing is a tough sport, a really tough sport, which is often romanticized in Hollywood and even at times trivialized. It is a sport that involves a lot of hard work, grueling hard work, years of training, blood and sweat. By the time Muhammad Ali had gotten to the world stage, he was a master like none other. His mastery in the ring was just world class. Talk about the heavyweight division, this division is known for its sluggish movements and hard hits. He would dance around his opponents, taunting them before their fight. He would say, I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Originated the saying, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And you really have to admire the man for saying this and I quote, I would have been the world's greatest at whatever I did. If I were a garbage man, I would be the world's greatest garbage man. I would pick up more garbage and I would have picked it up faster than anyone has ever seen. To tell you the truth, I would have been the greatest at whatever I would have done. End of the quote. So if you're going to do anything, be the greatest. Do not settle for anything less. Put 100% effort in everything you do and add excellence as your secret ingredient to every task and show that you undertake. See, in reality, excellence is the very opposite of striving for perfection. Many of us, we strive for perfection, but sadly, we can never ever attain perfection as we are all imperfect in some way or the other. It is no doubt God the Almighty who is perfect in every single way, but you and I, we are imperfect. Perfectionism is where you end up losing your true self in the demands of society and where you try to emulate a person who is not you and whom you can never ever become. Excellence, on the other hand, is to become the center of your own universe and from that powerful, centered and grounded position, you shine bright like a star. You shine your light into the world by using your unique talents and abilities. Lesson number two, and this lesson two is in the form of another quote of the champ, and I quote, it isn't the mountains ahead to climb that wear you out, but rather it's the pebble in your shoe. It is upon us to take some time in our lives to pause a moment in order to remove any pebbles, tiny pebbles that we may have picked up along the way. So, life is real short. So you add up all your traveling, add up all your sleeping, add up all your school, add up all your entertainment, you've probably been half your life doing nothing. So what am I, I'm 35 years old, 30 more years I'll be 65. We don't have no more influence. We can't do nothing much at 65, your wife will tell you that. And these tiny pebbles can take on the form of all kinds of unnecessary baggage such as small bad habits, seeds of negativity, lack of discipline, secret fears or even devious doubts and whisperings that disturb us day and night. It is upon us to address them, deal with them and vanquish them. And according to the metaphor, many a mountain climber has fallen to their death because of an unaddressed tiny pebble. The powerful lesson that can be deduced in this particular quote or from this particular quote is that deal with the pebbles in your life promptly in a positive and strong way and you will conquer many, many mountain tops. The last and powerful lesson that I hope to deal with in this video is in the form of another quote and I quote, 
We have but one life. It will soon be past. What we do for God is all that will last. So when I die, if there's a heaven, I want to see it. Because we live how long? 80 years? We've all been created for a purpose, a divine purpose, and it is upon us to work hard, strive hard towards fulfilling that, towards fulfilling that purpose within the short life that God has blessed each and every one of us with. And without a shadow of doubt, we all know that inevitably we have to face a reality, a reality known as death, just as how the champ sadly did. But we can live on just like the champ does now in the form of our legacies that we leave behind. So let us all strive to be good and upright human beings who do what is correct in the name of God the Almighty. Let us all strive to leave behind legacies that resonate of goodness throughout the annals of time. I ask Allah the Almighty to bless each and every one of us. I ask him to forgive Muhammad Ali, to bless him with the very, very best in the next world. And I ask him to bless each and every one of us and to grant us the very best in this world as well as the hereafter. Ameen wa akhir da'wai and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. I look forward to talking to you all perhaps in another video very soon. So until then, this is Mu'iz Bukhari signing off. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.